Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. We're in Akron, Ohio right now getting ready for the solar eclipse. Woke up this morning, had some rain, some clouds, but the good news, as you can see behind me, skies are clearing, but we're actually gonna drive about 30 minutes to the west to Medina, Ohio. Um, it's gonna get us a little bit closer to, to totality. And the reason we wanna do that is that's gonna give us about 30, 35 seconds more of totality. Right here in Akron, it's only about three minutes. I'm on the west side of Akron. Um, if we go over to Medina, it's about 3.35, so it's worth to go west a little bit for 30 more seconds. It's not that bad of a drive. Also, the skies are clearing from west to east, even though we have clear skies here pretty much right now, and it's about 10 a.m. Uh, as we go to the west, we should even have clear skies, but that's the, the sky condition now, uh, and those are the kind of clouds. Even those clouds aren't a big deal. They won't impact us at all, so folks in Charlotte, I'll try to take pictures and videos and might try to live stream, but it's all going to depend on our cell service. I got a bevy of stuff ready to go, the drone, the GoPro, the DSLR, and the phone. So we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. Totality is the maximum phase of a total eclipse, during which the moon's disk completely covers the sun. It can last from a fraction of a second to a maximum of 7 minutes and 32 seconds. All right, we're on our way to Bedina, Ohio, leaving Akron at around 11 a.m. Family's in the back. We're heading to Totality. Uh, it's about, what, 15 miles? Medina is about 15 miles away, um, but it's gonna give us about 35 to 40 seconds extra of Totality. So um, as you can see out the window, completely clear skies. So perfect conditions, just some high clouds. We'll post updates as long as the cell service allows. The umbra is the darkest part of the moon's shadow. From within the umbra, the sun is completely blocked by the moon as in the case of a total eclipse. All right, everybody, uh, we're set up here in Medina, Ohio right now. Beautiful weather right now. I wanna give you a quick sneak peek of the camera setup I have. We actually can see a sunspot currently showing up on the camera. Let me show you. So there's my camera setup. You can see we got the solar filter on there. Little tape never hurts. There's a view of the sun right now. And if you look carefully, you can actually see a sunspot there. So pretty cool. All right, Rob, tell us about the trip up from Statesville. <laughs> it really was not that bad. Uh, it was fairly heavy traffic the whole way, but it was, everything moved smoothly and no real issues. So why'd you come all the way up here to see this? We saw the one in 2017. It was an incredible experience. We're just looking forward to something similar again. And who do you have with you here? They don't have to. Got my, my wife, my uh, middle child, my daughter, Reagan, and my uh, youngest, my son, Caleb. When did you guys leave? Left yesterday. Yesterday? Yep. And when are you planning on going back? Heading back as soon as this is over. <laughs> it's just a uh, once in a lifetime experience. I mean, the when it goes totally dark and just seeing the ring around the uh, shadow or the moon, and it's just a, uh, a very unique experience and I, uh, I don't know, once you've experienced it once, you, you're gonna definitely wanna do it again. It's kind of dusk-like. It is getting a little dim out here. We're about, uh, maybe about 14 minutes away from totality. So what I'm seeing right now in Ohio is probably about as dark as it's gonna get in Charlotte. So you get an idea right now. Um, but I'm taking some, some time lapses. We're gonna try to get the drone up as well. Um, it's funny, the target behind me is closed. The Chick-fil-A has closed as well uh, as they let all their employees come out. You can see all the Chick-fil-A employees out watching it. So they took an hour, half hour break to come out and watch it. An umbrophile is a solar eclipse aficionado, a person who will do almost anything and travel almost anywhere to see totality, also known as Eclipse Chaser. All right, everybody, here we are. We are getting close. According to my math here, we're about three minutes out. So we got the drone up as well. We're gonna be flying around. Hey, Kyler, do you wanna fly the drone for me? So you're flying the drone. I just, yeah, go real slow like that so we can see the scene. There's the kids. You can see people behind me. Actually, believe it or not, those people are from Statesville, North Carolina. They are up here as well. So, oh, it's getting darker. Here we go. Three, it's getting darker. <laughs> There we are, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's getting close to totality right now. So we are getting really close. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's getting kind of like dusk-like out. This is really cool. 
So I might flip the camera and show you. Target is shut down. All the people are outside. Chick-fil-A is shut down. Oh, their outdoor lights are coming on. All the lights, all the street lights are coming on. So it's starting to happen. I'll try to show you the scene as best I can. There's that. Oh, the target light just came on because it's getting dark enough. It's getting pretty dark now. Here we are in totality. Okay. Oh, it's getting cold. There we go, guys. It's getting close. Look how weird it is out here. We're dim enough now that we don't have to worry. Ooh, it, all the light, all the street lights came on. Look how, oh, there's a shadow. There's a shadow coming in. Do you see how dark it is over there? Here it comes. You see the shadow? Kinley, keep panning. Go around. All right, so you guys see how dark it is here? Here comes the shadow. You can see it. See it getting closer, guys? Oh, man, look, look. Look at the difference. There we go. Look at the difference in the sky on the, on the thing. Look, keep going, Kinley. Keep panning around. Oh, there. Oh, it's getting dark, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, it's getting close. Don't look yet. Just keep going, Kinley. Keep pan keep panning. Oh, listen, the crowds are cheering. Oh my gosh, look at this shot, guys. It's gone. Oh, look at it. Go look. Look, you can look with your eyeballs now. Look, look, take your glasses off. Take your glasses off. Oh my gosh. You can take your glasses off, everybody look. Oh wow. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Oh wow. Are you taking pictures, Tyler? Is that planet to the right, Brad? Uh, oh, yeah. That should be Venus. Oh, yeah. What is that? That's Venus. Right? That's Venus right there. You got Venus? Yep. Which one do you see? Ju see that's Jupiter. Oh, that's got to be Jupiter, Jupiter up there. there. You hear the birds? Like, what is happening? Look, right. look at the seagull. That's Venus She's right there. I can see Venus. Venus. Mars and uh, Saturn should be down that way, but I can't really see them. Oh my gosh, the totality is amazing. Guys, look at it through the lens. Wow, look at that. That is crazy cool. Guys, look at it through the lens of my camera. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is amazing. Look how dark it is. I just want to keep panning. Can we? Look at the sunset, guys. Look at, get a picture. So you guys see sunset all the way around the horizon? Okay, taking another picture there, guys. Look at that. But it's so eerie. So you can see the sunset. This is how dark it is right now out here. I'm going to flip it around so you guys can see. So basically the lights from the street lights are the ones. Brad, what's the spot at the like bottom of the moon? It looks just like a red dot. Do you see that? Solar flare. Oh, I see it, yeah. Right at the bottom of the might be a flare. Ring. Is it a flare? Uh, that might just, oh yeah, that's a prominence. Oh, I got to get that shot. What is that? <laughs> so that's like a, a, a prominence. It's actually like plasma from the uh, sun shooting up. Yeah, you see that? It's like a little red dot. It looks like lava, guys. No, it's a, that's actually what it's supposed to look like. Like on the bottom quarter, like at like 6.35-ish. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's shooting out from the bottom. Yeah. That's a big prominence. That's basically, oh, it's coming out the bottom. I can see. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. So this is what it looks like, guys. Oh, look at that. There's a nice ring right around. Yeah, it's a it's a big prominence coming off of there. Oh, here it comes. Uh-oh. Oh put, put, your, put, your, put, put, put your sunglasses glasses back, on. back on. Put your glasses back on. So there's the shadow going that direction. See how dark it is over there? And then here comes. So now the sun's back out, but you can see it's bright over here. And then looking over this way, that's where the shadow's going. So it's going northeast. That's going northeast. This is southwest. So now it's back. So street lights are on, but they're all starting to go off. But there's the shadow. I don't know if that did it justice, guys, but it is amazing how cool it is in real life. And you can hear the excitement. Now here comes the sun. See how bright it's getting now? We're going, see, now I got a shadow because now the sun's coming back out. Tyler, do you see the difference on the drone? Keep panning, Kinley. Pan back towards the shadow. Yeah, to the southwest. This way? Yeah, go towards the darkness. Yep. So my daughter's flying the drone, but you can see now the light's back out. And it's getting brighter now. So totally worth the trip. Totally worth the trip. There's everybody lined up in the parking lot here. 
Chick-fil-A employees were excited. Amazing, amazing. You guys got to see one of these in your lifetime. If you don't get a chance to do this, you got to do it at some point. I, I, I swear, if you see it in real life, it is amazing. Thank you.